Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 2 Samuel chapters 9 and 10. 2 Samuel chapter 9, David's Kindness to Mephibosheth. In this chapter, we encounter a profound act of kindness and compassion displayed by King David. David, who had now firmly established his reign over Israel, began to consider his predecessor, King Saul's family. He wondered if there were any survivors from Saul's house to whom he could show kindness. This desire stemmed from David's deep friendship with Saul's son, Jonathan. Upon inquiry, David's officials informed him about Mephibosheth, Jonathan's son. Mephibosheth, however, was not living in the royal court. He resided in Lodabar, a place often associated with obscurity and exile. Without hesitation, David sends for Mephibosheth. When Mephibosheth arrives before the king, he might have been filled with apprehension, considering his family's history. Saul and Jonathan, Mephibosheth's father, had been David's predecessors as kings, and there could have been lingering concerns about retribution. Yet David's words are filled with grace and reassurance. He tells Mephibosheth not to be afraid, assuring him that he intends to show kindness to him. David explains that this kindness is not only due to his friendship with Jonathan but also because of a covenant he had made with Jonathan. David proceeds to restore to Mephibosheth all the land that had belonged to Saul, ensuring that he would be cared for and provided for the rest of his life. He also goes a step further, inviting Mephibosheth to dine regularly at his table, essentially treating him as an honored guest and a member of the royal household. This chapter is a beautiful testament to David's character. He not only honors his friendship with Jonathan but extends kindness and compassion to a vulnerable and marginalized individual like Mephibosheth. It showcases David's commitment to righteousness and the values of compassion and grace in his reign as king. 2 Samuel chapter 10 Conflict with the Ammonites and Syrians Chapter 10 marks a shift in the narrative as it focuses on military conflicts that King David faces, particularly against the Ammonites and the Syrians. The chapter opens with the death of Nash, the king of the Ammonites, who had maintained friendly relations with David. David, upon hearing about Nahash's passing, decides to send messengers to express his condolences to Hanan, Nahash's son, who has now succeeded him as king. David's intention is to comfort Hanan and show goodwill toward the Ammonites, possibly to strengthen the diplomatic ties between the two nations. However, Hanan's advisors, for reasons of their own, convince him that David's messengers are not genuinely there to offer condolences. Instead, they suggest that the messengers are spies sent by David to gather intelligence about Ammon. In a grave miscalculation, Hanan decides to publicly humiliate David's messengers. He shaves off half of their beards and cuts their garments at the waist. These actions are deeply humiliating in the ancient Near East and are considered a grave insult. The humiliated messengers are sent back to David. Upon their return, they inform him of what transpired, and David, understanding the gravity of the situation, instructs them to stay in Jericho until their beards grow back. This is both an act of empathy and a means of sparing them further embarrassment. Meanwhile, Hanan's actions have sparked a significant conflict. Realizing that they have deeply offended the Israelites, the Ammonites decide to form an alliance with the Syrians. They gather a formidable force, ready to confront David's army. Upon learning of the Ammonite-Syrian alliance, David gathers his forces and marches out to meet the impending threat. Two battles unfold between David's army and the combined forces of the Ammonites and Syrians. In both engagements, David's forces emerge victorious. These victories highlight the strength and military prowess of David's leadership. While the chapter is marked by conflict and tension, it also underscores David's determination to protect his kingdom and his people. This chapter serves as a precursor to future challenges and victories that David will face in his reign as King of Israel. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the events in 2 Samuel chapters 9 and 10, we come before you in prayer, seeking your guidance and wisdom. 
In chapter 9, we witness David's incredible act of kindness and compassion towards Mephibosheth, despite his difficult circumstances. Lord, help us to emulate such kindness and grace in our own lives, extending compassion to those in need and showing love to those who may have been marginalized. In chapter 10, we read about the conflicts and misunderstandings that led to battles. We pray for wisdom and discernment in our interactions with others, so that we may seek peace and understanding rather than misunderstanding and conflict. Lord, in all our actions, may we be guided by your love and compassion. Help us to be instruments of your peace in a world that often faces discord and strife. We pray for the strength and courage to confront challenges as David did, relying on your guidance and trusting in your protection. In your holy name, we offer this prayer. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the next chapters of 2 Samuel in the next video. Thank you. God bless you.